Greetings, this is Edward Ojambo. In this tutorial, match case will be used to execute a block of code in Python. As you can see here, I'm on the jumboshop.com, so I'm going to log into my account. So the first time I log in, it will take me to my account page. Then I can go to paid content here or paid content up here or here. So I'll just pick paid content. So as, as mentioned, this is brought to you from the jumboshop.com learning Python course and learning PHP course. Uh, con so what I'll do is I'll click on the learning Python course and it'll take me to the chapter where we left off from last time, which is chapter 5, the if-else conditional statement. So in this, the final part of chapter 5, we're going to learn about the switch case or as Python likes to call them, it's a match case. So a conditional statement tests a given condition and returns either true or false. So if it's true, then it will obviously print this one here or this one here. And this is for else. <clears throat> so this is like an if statement. This is an if else statement. And this is an else statement, meaning that if none of the other two match, you want to print the default value, which is this down here. So as you can see here, the jumboshop.com learning python course web IDE, which is this one down here, can be used for this tutorial, and that's what we're going to do as well. And obviously, this learning python course inspired this tutorial. As you can tell here, you, uh, if you prefer to follow along and you don't want to use the built-in IDE and uh, compiler as well, you can compile your own python from source at GitHub. You can also install Python from downloaded binaries. And as I said, I'm going to use the web ID, but you can use any text editor or I'll ID that you prefer. So let's begin. First thing I'll do here is I'll create two variables, num7 equals 41 and num8 equals 77. And I'll start my match. So I say match num7. I'll put two spaces. Say case num7 if num7 is greater than num8. Two one two. Now print. num7 is greater than num8 so that's basically the if statement next we'll have our else if statement so num7 again we say if num7 equals num8 So we'll print num7 and num8 uh, equal. And finally, else, meaning the previous two did not match. So we'll put case underscore. We'll say print num8 is not greater than num7 okay so that we're done there then we can compile I made a mistake on 9.5 let's see what I did okay so we're here uh, we're using guinea uh, num7 77 Let's say match num7. Then we say case num7 if num7 greater than num8. So we'll print Then this will be the equivalent of an if else. Say 
num7 equals num8. So print, say num7 and num8 are equal. Then this is the equivalent of else. We say print num8 is not greater than num7. Okay, so we're done. Then we do is we compile it. There's no problems. And then we can run it. And you see it says num7, num8 is not greater than num7. Okay, so you can find the full article at jumbo.com slash python hyphen switch hyphen case hyphen statement. And as you can see, I have a table for you explaining how everything works. You can expand to get the code snippet, a screenshot of Guinea, a screenshot of the Guinea output, the video you're watching right now. And of course, if you want to learn more about uh, Python or if you want to learn PHP, and you can also get the ebooks for Py uh, Python or PHP on Amazon and if you prefer one-on-one -on -one tutorials uh, online, I can help you with that as well on jumboservices.com. All the links are in the description, or you can get them from the references by clicking each of these individual hyperlinks. So if we go to the Learning Python course here, as you can tell, you can use the promo code SCHOOL to get 20% off until the end of 2024. Or if you want to use the PHP course, you can also get 20% off until the end of 24. The promo code is SCHOOL. It's S -C -H -O -O -L. If you go to Amazon, you simply search for Edward or Jumbo. I'll be the first guy to show up. Just click on my name. And then, of course, you can get the Learning Python ebook. It doesn't contain the Web IDE and Python. You can simply uh, get it free if you have Kindle Unlimited. And for uh, learning PHP, you can get it as well for your e-readers. And as I was saying before, if you go to jumboservices.com, whether you want a website uh, application or if, you pref if you're migrating or your problem with database, maybe you've been hacked or you want PCI compliance or e-commerce or shipping logistics integration, you can get that. Or if you prefer, as I said, an application for the desktop, mobile, or embedded app, it's embedded uh, for all the major platforms. Again, can help you that in all the languages, whether it's Python, Java, JavaScript, HTML5, Rust, C, C++. And all those skills, if you want to learn yourself, one-on-one, -on -one, custom made just for you. You know the major programming language, maybe it's just software, a Blender, office suites, uh, internet, uh, all that stuff can be uh, custom made just for you. So in North America, you call the toll-free number, or you can also, uh, anywhere else from around the world, you can call uh, direct using this number. Or you can go to the contact page, fill in the information, and get back to you within 24 hours. Thank you.